Hey, hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. I'm great. A little bit rushed and frantic today. Doing a last minute vlog be oh. I need to do some watering. I uh, was planning on doing a different video for today. Usually I wake up and get those edited and out in the later afternoon, sometimes five, six o'clock at night. But um, I forgot I had a doctor's appointment today. I mean, I knew I had a doctor's appointment on the 5th. I just didn't put it together that the 5th was Wednesday. You know, the whole COVID thing, we're all staying at home. A lot of us are anyways, and things are blending together. So I thought well, I would just do a vlog. Vlogs are easy. They're more fun. They're more laid back, less formal than what I had planned. And I apparently didn't have my microphone plugged in for the video I was going to put out today. So that's going to be a fun thing to figure out how to fix. But I'm just hanging out in the garden. The sky is beautiful today. I don't know if you'll be able to, I don't want to mess my lens up. Can you see it through the, you see that? I mean, I guess it's lies when you're looking through a lens, but tell, like, look at that. That's so pretty. Anyways, gorgeous day. It's like 77 degrees. Well, that's the high. It's only 70 right now. It got kind of cold last night. The um, iguana, I had to move that inside. It's too cold to have the reptiles outside. And then I did a bunch of other things, but I'll wait to update on those until uh, Saturday's video. I just saw a butterfly. You want to see it? It's really pretty. Tuck, you want to say hi? I know. We need to put that ring toss game away. Nobody's here. We're not playing that game. Let's see if we can get this butterfly on camera. Look at that. Oh, she is beautiful. Are butterfly people out there? Bug people? Insect lovers? Let me know what kind. I'm in Missouri. So it would be a Missouri native, more than likely. I mostly see monarchs out here and little, I think they're called swallowtails, the little white ones, they're everywhere. And I see a fair amount of these yellow ones. Sorry about the flickering with the focus. I just like instinctively push the focus button a lot more than I actually have to. So uh, I, don't, I don't really have a plan for today, but uh, maybe let's, let's plant some stuff. You wanna go inside? You just came out here. Really? Already? All right, okay, you prefer your indoor bed? That's fine, you can go inside. But that means Toby wants to go in too. Where's Toby? Yep, there he is, the caboose. Bye, Toby. In here? Hey, pumpkin, you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello? No, nothing? You busy? I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know, you have a very busy day. Lots of appointments. You're a very important pumpkin. Means you are pumpkin. You're so important. You're so perfect. Okay, all right. I said I was gonna plant some things. Let's go plant some things. Good girl pumpkin. I have these two seashell planters over here. And I usually pot these up every year with a whole bunch of annuals, even though you really can't fit very many in these pots. I want to keep it a little bit more simple this year and the annuals I have, they're not looking very good because it's August and I did all my annual shopping months ago. So they've been sitting in their little nursery cans for a long time. I have a Diplodinia here, a Calypso Diplodinia, these pretty yellow flowers and then a Verbena down here. What variety of Verbena? Verbena is this. The variety of this verbena is called Violet Ice. It's hard to see there on the tag, but it has these really pretty purple flowers. And like I see, are down here now. So I like the way that these flowers go together, the yellow with the purple. I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm going to do that up top here, but it needs something else. I think I have one Pentas left. Pentas, Pentas, how do you guys say it? Yes, I do. Okay, it's back here. I moved a lot of the annuals to the shade so that they would be able to get by until I was able to get around to planting them. It, so it's a, a little bit stretched out and kind of funky looking, but I want to use this. It's a plant that the hummingbirds and the butterflies really appreciate having around. And uh, it's just a little maintenance and carefree. And look at those flowers. They're really cute flowers. And look at how that just like looks nice over here with the other things. So I think that this will do well. It is, it's very big though. I'm not quite sure it's going to fit. I'm gonna try and make it work. See what I can do here. Like how I acted like I wasn't going to be cramming this full of plants and then here I am walking around trying to find more and more things to get put into this planter. It is what it is, it's okay. I like the idea of using Pentas in here because they're fairly drought tolerant annuals and uh, the rest of the plants I'm putting in here are also drought tolerant. The reason for that is that these two planters are a little bit further away from my drip and uh, I would just 
prefer to plant them up with things that don't need tons of irrigation. That way I don't really have to mess with them or worry about them too much. So I'm going to toss this diplodinia in here as well. I'm going to kind of keep it off to the side. That should sort of straighten itself out over time. And then I'm going to put this verbena down here in the corner. Yeah, okay, that'll do. It's not going to look amazing for a while because like I mentioned, the annuals are looking a little bit rough. It'll start to look better, I promise. Especially this verbena, I think that's really going to appreciate being planted up. This diplodinia here, I don't know if that's going to be too big for this or not. I think it's okay, but it's a little bit kind of the same size as the pentis that's behind it. That's why I kind of have it off to the side there just a little bit, but I don't know, this is where I want these plants, so I'm gonna use them whether it works or not. They'll go together as far as their growing conditions are concerned, they'll be fine. You can see that I do have some deadheading to do in here. You don't have to deadhead pentis, but I have noticed that they tend to bloom a little bit better when you get some of the spent buds off of them. This variety here, if you were wondering, is called Butterfly Deep Pink. You want to focus? There we go. It's uh, 10 to 18 inches tall, so that's about maxed out, really, if it's 10 to 18 inches tall. That's almost 18 inches tall as it is. They have really pretty, almost like bubblegum pink flower heads on them. Easy to grow, somewhat drought tolerant, likes lots of sun, and uh, I think that it will pair nicely with these other plants. So I'm gonna have to give it some time and see. Now this little seashell, this one I was considering maybe just plopping like one osteospermum in there, which are the African daisies, and leaving it be. Or succulents, maybe? I don't know. Because, I mean, neither of these are going to look fantastic right away. They're going to take time to fill in since the plants I'm using are so scraggly. Succulents have a pretty immediate impact though, but this spot does get a lot of really intense afternoon sun. Mm, I don't know, I'm gonna think on this one for a minute. Okay, so another reason that's good that this is a vlog is because I'm already changing my mind about things. I have this lantana here that I love and I've been looking forward to planting, but the thing is I kind of want to save this for a bonsai. So I'm not going to use it, but wouldn't that be pretty in there? Luscious Royal Cosmo. It's beautiful. And what's interesting about this lantana is that the foliage smells spectacular. It smells like lemon, kind of. And usually lantana has a very distinct odor. At least that, that's what I found over the years. It's usually not an odor I'm really much of a fan of. Some people like it, kind of like with geraniums, you know, it's a interesting smell. But I like this a lot, and I had a lot of trouble actually getting one of these. I'd order it straight from Proven Winners, because nobody had them around back in, jeez, what was it, March? When I was, like, out and trying to find plants. Haven't really done that since, so I'm going to hold on to this. This is a backstory nobody asked for, but there you go. The only point I was making there is that, what are you doing, bud? What are you doing? You having a rough time? No, uh, no, 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 no. You do your thing over there, B. The uh, lantana, I think that that pink and orange would have been pretty mixed in there. But I'm like changing my mind about everything. Hence why this is a vlog, because I thought this might happen. I didn't really feel like sitting down and planning things out. It's like, let's just plant some stuff together. Now down here I have some more very sad annuals, because like I had mentioned before, they've been sitting in these nursery cans for way too long. But there is a, there it is. Yeah, not looking too hot, but getting it planted up will improve how it looks. Poor thing. I think I have two of these. I do. So I can go... Alright, that's not going to help how they look at all. This is a little petunia. Where is its name? But Super Tunia Mini Vista Morning Glory. And they have these cute little purple flowers on them. Again, I know, they don't look too hot, but getting them planted up is only going to make them look better, not worse. And since we're having a nice cool week, I think that these would be a good option for getting into a planter. So I'm going to use one of these for sure. So what has changed here, in my mind anyway, is going from the more drought tolerant, really moderately drought tolerant pentis, they still need water, they're just very heat tolerant. Whereas the supertunias, eh, not so much, or petunias in general. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to probably move, <laughs> I'm trying to balance myself. It's been a long time since I've been able to squat with the skin they took off my thigh for that graft, but I'm probably going to move this verbena down here because that will actually fill in this little planter all on its own and I think look nice down there. I'm thinking maybe I'll put that up top. I'm gonna keep playing around with this a little bit. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Hibiscus. I have lots of little hibiscus around here and that would pair well with some of these other plants, although it looks like this has been knocked over, so the growth is gonna be a little bit wonky, probably. And it is thirsty, but oh, oh, you look so sad. My poor plants, I just, you know, haven't been able to give them the attention they need, and other people are taking care of them, and it's just, it's just kind of what's been going on. Well, hmm. It's not like everything else I'm using looks beautiful, so I could still use this and just give it some TLC, just like the other plants. This is a, I mean, as you can see, it's a very pretty yellow hibiscus. It's very thirsty. And then I still have tucked back in here, the Lespedeza, a another hibiscus that has pink flowers on it. You can't tell right now. But it does, I think that this one would make more sense color-wise to use over there. So that's what I'm going to use, even though the growth looked a lot better on the other one. Okay, I'm liking this. I had to pull the roots apart a little bit to get this fit in here, which is a terrible thing to do with the dehydrated plant, but it's going to be okay because I decide I am going to go ahead and just run my, dr the drip line's right there. You see it? It's right next to these, so I might as well just run drip to them and then it just makes things more simple. So. Uh, It'll be okay. I'd never recommend doing that, but I just did it. So, you know, sometimes things aren't perfect. I think up here, I remembered I have these Tropic Escape. These are like bright, bright orange hibiscus. It's not in flower right now, but I think that that's going to add a pop of color that I'm really going to like in here. And then I am going to do the verbena over the front, or maybe I'll do another one of these super bells. <laughs> and done. Look at how beautifully these came out. It is what it is. I'm gonna throw some stakes in here for that hibiscus just to help support it while it roots itself back out. Uh, there's still plenty of cleaning up to do here. I'm gonna put the verbena up top. It's gonna take some time. They're rough. You know, these plants have been sitting around for months waiting to get planted, waiting for me to get to a point physically where I was even able to crouch down and do something like this, so they are sad. I'm aware, but you know, better late than never, getting them going, and we can all watch and see how they do together. I'll give an update in Saturday's vlog and see what happened with everything. The, the, these pots are a pain in the butt to water, and I remembered that when I was trying to pick out plants for them. And uh, because of that, I want them on drip. Even if there's succulents in here, this is still a very sunny spot. And it would just be, it, it, these things are, they're a nightmare. The way the tops of them are shaped, you barely hit with water and soil just flushes out and goes everywhere. Even if you plant down a little bit. And if you have trailers, it's really hard to plant down low because you won't be able to come over the top. So they were going to end up on drip anyways. I had just forgotten about that aspect of them. So that's why I kind of was just like, you know what, forget it gonna pack them full they will bounce back it's just gonna take a little bit of time but hey it's getting things going it feels good to be able to squat and plant things and do some little physical things I have a doctor's appointment here in like hour and a half I need to hit the road not quite that long so I'm gonna wrap this up the sky is just mesmerizing me right now so I'll probably film a little time lapse while I can and um, Hopefully, by the time I leave the doctor, I'll still be able to squat and do work. Last time I went, they scrubbed my donor site on my leg, and um, wow, that hurt. And I couldn't really move my leg very well for a few days afterwards. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't think that's going to be the case today, because as time goes on, the less work they seem to need to do on those things. So, yeah, I'm not too concerned about it. I still have lots and lots and lots of very sad looking annuals to get planted. They didn't look sad when I got them, but you know, when I got them, I didn't know I was gonna get sick and all the other stuff was going to happen. So it will get done probably in this weekend's vlog since the weather's nice. Seems like an opportune time to go ahead and just start planting things. You know, usually I get the annuals and I have planters planned for the channel and just for the backyard, they're nice to have around. But um, 
can't really do that this year because of the like lifting and everything that's involved. So I'm just going to start grabbing plants and plugging them in, plopping them into planters and just getting them into something because that'll be better than nothing. And there's still lots of things to do, plenty of things, but I need to handle those annuals because you saw them. They're not looking good. They need to get planted now. And while the temperatures are cooler, that's the best time to do it. It's not very often we get a week in August where temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. That is extremely unusual, but has its perks, like being able to plant some annuals. There's annuals back there. That's what I'm pointing to. But yeah, so thanks for hanging out while I kind of panic plant. <laughs> Is that what we'd call it? Panic planting? Yeah, not really. I did actually take my time on it, but it might seem rushed by the time everything's edited. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. All right, I'm gonna go. The sky. I have to film it. I'm obsessed with the clouds today. Yeah, hopefully the video makes it out today too. After all this, it would be dumb if I didn't have time to edit it. If it comes out kind of late, that's why. I keep coming over here because I'm just obsessed with this trick. So I was gonna go. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.